Danny Segura for MMAJunkie.com. I'm here with Rory McDonald, who will be fighting in the semifinal PFL uh, welterweight tournament. Um, Rory, you, you know, you're here. You know, a lot of veterans were signed to PFL. They didn't make it to the playoffs. You did. Um, how has this experience been like, you know, being in this type of format and, and fighting frequently? I believe you've logged in, what now, two, three fights in, in four months? This will be three fights in six months. Uh, I think the total ter the total is four fights in eight months for the whole tournament. So it's um, it's a pretty grueling tournament. You know, you have to stay healthy over four training camps back to back, and four you know fights against some of the best guys in the world, especially the welterweight division. It's uh, there's not there's not one easy fight in in that division. So. Um, you know, it's it's went well for me. Thank the Lord. You know, He's uh, kept me healthy and strong, and I'm feeling good. And um, you've been training at Sanford, right, for, for for all this training camp? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, how has this experience been like being in a format? Because before, right, you and then you don't know when you're going to be back, so you you kind of just I'm guessing you stay in shape. But knowing that you have you know all these fights back to back, does that change your lifestyle a, a bit? Yeah, it's pretty much all training camp. You know, for those eight months, you know, a little bit of downtime after each fight. But besides that, it's, you know, it's just you're in the gym grinding and getting ready for fights. You prefer that rather than the wait to, you know, whenever you get the call from, you know, another promotion that doesn't have the format? There's, there's good and bad with both. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm taking it in stride, um, you know, because I've had a career with a lot of long layoffs. So, you know, I, I never really enjoyed that. But then you do the polar opposite, and you sign with PFL, and you have fight after fight after fight. It uh, it tests you, you know. It's it's not easy, and it's a grind, but it's good. That's what I asked for, and uh, I'm I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I, I can definitely tell you you've been enjoying the the back to back fights. And uh, let's talk about a little bit about uh, your last fight, Gleason Tebow. Very controversial decision. Um, you know, the commentators didn't agree with it. Fans online didn't agree with it. You obviously didn't agree with it. Have you moved past it, or is it still kind of bothering you? Because you were pretty bothered about, you know, of course how how everything went down. Yeah, I'm, I'm past it. I mean, uh, I learned my lesson of, you know, going to in New Jersey. Um, but uh, besides that, I mean, I'm focusing on my, you know, my next fight. I qualified for the playoffs, and I'm moving forward to my goal. Any interest in rematching Tebow? He's still with the promotion at some point. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, uh, I feel that I clearly beat him. I don't really have much to prove except getting the W on my resume, and that's about it. And Ray Cooper, um, you know, obviously previous champion of, of the last season PFL had. Um, I asked you this at the presser, and, and you answered, no, I'm the best welterweight when I asked you if you felt you were fighting the, the, the best welterweight in PFL here. But what I meant is it was more like the best welterweight that's been in PFL, right? Because this is your first season. Do you feel like this is, you know, the, 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 the cream of the, the crop here? Yeah, Ray is definitely, you know, if he's not the best, he's one of the best. Um, you know, he's a former champion. And uh, he fights hard. The guy brings it every time, so I got to be ready. Yeah. And uh, last one, um, you posted that picture with R Robbie Lawler a while back when when you guys were training together, um, and it kind of went viral. And there was a lot of talk surrounding that. He's coming back against Nick Diaz. Um, have you been training with with Robbie Lawler? What's uh, what's that been like? And what do you think of that fight? Yeah, I've been training alongside of him. Uh, we he just started his training camp as I was finishing mine. So uh, we didn't really cross paths in our training just yet, uh, but we have trained together, just not in this training camp. But yeah, it's been it's been a pleasure. You know, Robbie's a very chill guy, humble. You know, just re very relaxed, and he comes in and does work, and and that's it. He's uh, he's not a dramatic guy or a flamboyant person, so we get along pretty well. All right. Well, I appreciate the time and best of luck in this semifinal bout.